Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Tatian Let's Play. We continue for episode 5 from turn 25 in the summer season of 195. So, we have arrived in Danyang. It's going to need a little help. A repair here, demolish here, and a conversion here. And we're going to take this army down and take the salt mine, salt mine and the copper mine, and then probably peace out with Liu Yao, or if this is the only territory, we might wipe him out. But basically, Danyang is Taoxian's hometown. We're going to recover it. It's also very lucrative. So we're going to hopefully build it up and be able to boost our income beyond this 38 right here. So we're also going to put some assignments here to help it out. Uh, right now, it has no industry. So that's a small problem. We can't really boost that for a lot of income. Uh, corruption is beginning to peak, but not to the level that we have to do anything about it. Our other son here, I actually want him to leave the faction. I want to give him a piece of land in Pengcheng because he'll be neighbors with his brother and we currently don't have the temple. So once we get that back, we can still keep the piece we want. Pengcheng is negative one food, so that doesn't hurt us. It does kill some income here, but he's going to provide us a trade that's going to be much more lucrative. So let's get this done. Let's assign him and grant him independence and we're hoping for a good background trait underdog so that's good as long as we're strong he's gonna stay a vassal 4.9 let's see if we can first give him autonomy 17.5 i could get an item back and then pay him a bit of food or Cash. Actually, food is more important, uh, less important to us right now. We can get it to 15. Huge boost. So, if we take a look at him now, the trade is going to be 6.5 instead of the sub 5 that we saw. And I can actually just give him one coin. And he should boost into best friends. And that's going to lift the trade value by at least one more, I think. All right. And here we can use this to cash out with some per turn income. It's not going to be a lot. He's poor. 67. Just to compare. Okay. It's going to be better asking for the per turn. Let's do it. And our income is now at 563 instead of 38, even though we gave away a piece of land. Uh, there's an ambush party nearby. We're going to bump into them. Uh, their replenishment items I'm going to steal because we are going to have more healing needed here. We're going to give him the bow. He can use it in the fight. And I can grab a water clock. And everyone's happy. Alright, so the building's fix. We got our vassal. They're going to bump into an ambush. I don't think we're constructing anything. We do have a satisfaction hit. I don't know who hit her with the minus 30. I hope it's not an internal spy. Maybe it's Cao Cao's scheme. For no, actually, that's gone. So, could be a faction council event. That's the only other thing. Going to try to lift it above 27 for now. If we have an internal turncoat, that's going to be quite bad. Hopefully that's not the case, but let's continue for now. Ooh, Yan Bai Hu has a big stack. Okay. Okay, the ambush didn't work, but he bumped into us. Yeah, let's see. Close defeat. We're definitely going to fight this. We could use this group. That's a decent amount of units. Uh, but I guess we don't need it. If we night battle them for a little bit of morale effect. I can't turn him, which is unfortunate. But we should win this. They have three crossbow units, no archers. So I feel like we can maybe try to abuse that. If we can find some forests. Alright, 
Yeah, we have a bit of force. We can move our units up and maybe burn them down. Or actually, if they come towards us, we'll see what happens. I'm going to just quickly sort our guys. And then depending if they move up or not. Yeah, they're not moving. We'll move. We can kind of move into the forest, uh, but not too deep. How do we burn them without burning ourselves? That's the trick. Like, they can kind of be here. Okay, we're going to go try to snipe them. Until they stop moving. Uh, why are we having so much trouble? They're throwing... I think they're throwing the cow traps. They're invisible units. Hidden assault spears, maybe? Alright, crossbows starting to go. Fire starting to go. Catch some fire on the tree here. Perfect. Shooting at the right spot. Now, we need our generals to kind of chase the enemy crossbow units away, but there's some units in front. We saw that. Alright, we're going to get a nice burn here. Hidden snakes. Okay. Not so hidden anymore. I'm gonna pull them out real quick. I don't know if the generals want to fight or not. The cavalry can go. Feels like spear units coming this way. I'm gonna fight her. And we also. Oh, we can't mock. They have the disable. I actually feel like we can dismount here. Get the kills a little quicker. Change formations. Okay, we got a hidden snake on top of us, which is not great. Let's see if we can kill her quickly. Nice. And then we kill our spy. Or at least knock him out. Okay, if it's going to get too crowded here, we should remount. Push out this way, move forward, engage, slide out, fit over here and then slide out. Are we back on our horses? Oh, Cao Cao's having trouble. Alright, Cao Cao's staying. Fight Smiloin. We're going to go. I'm going to chase the two range units. Actually, if we have an opening here, horse would be nice. Just before the enemy cavalry comes. Perfect. Oh, we didn't use these guys. March out. Don't want to be standing in the fire. Come flank over here. Take that, take that. Spear units, loop around. 
Run, 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 run. I think we're gonna get army loss soon. Oh, we technically don't have to go into the burning forest. Alright, they're breaking. There we go. We let our spy live. Not bad. It's a pretty clean fight. The generals took a little bit more damage than I wanted, but the units are very healthy and we can probably keep pushing. He's trying to go home. Oh, Duel himself is on the field now. We are going to go take his land first and then potentially peace out with him. If we can trade with him, it's better than taking that fishing port. Wow. Well, do fat. Somehow came to us. I mean, he's willing to spy, so he's not a spy. Unfortunately, aside from this bonus, which kicks in way later, not that great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll end up picking up anyone, although we do need another Sentinel now that our son is gone for the Simon to reduce the cost of buildup. We're also just not going to settle for anyone. Firebomb. I don't think the High Empire can spy, so he's safe to recruit. Firebomb. Hmm. He's the only one that I'm slightly interested in. We'll take a look a bit later, I think. Right, he's been beaten. I don't think we need to remove him from the field. I'm debating whether we go take care of this. Right, he's willing to peace out. He's really, yeah, there we go. He's better as a trade partner. This is the best outcome for him. He wants to give us a non-aggression, we'll take it, and we'll take money. He doesn't have much. We can take a look at what we can ask for per turn. Versus lump sum. Oh, he has 300, never mind. 
All right, we're getting our trade partners back. Long, long, we're probably going to end up wiping. He's in Kuai Zi right now, down south. So we don't have to go this way. And we want to go this way, right? So... How do we want to do this? I don't want to take him off the field because we also want him to do assassination for us. Even though it's going to be a very pricey assassination because all the spy defense they have. Well, Liu Bei is about to die. I wonder if Liu Bei just confederates him. That would be interesting. We'll do it and get ourselves killed. Oh wait, we have... I thought we should have mistrust. I guess we do. Because she used it. She did use it last turn. She might become faction leader. She's the only remaining family member. So we basically had Liu Qi commit suicide against Liu Bell. Lady Tai takes over. I still own the family leader, uh, the, the faction leader. I can recall her for items, and then the Liu clan's basically gone. It's probably going to take a turn to process the results of it. I don't have mistrust. I thought I used it. Huh. That's weird. Plus 25, but we're going to start it and start shifting some points over. We're going to end up doing the same thing here with Yuan Shu. Who we might not be able to kill if he's not on the field. So if we look again... Mm, hasn't updated anything. If we try to do a deal with them, can we negotiate something? I'm wondering if their items became unequipped yet. Not yet. I mean, if Liu Bei confederates right away, we don't get a chance for that. We have very low military supplies. A little concerned about the drop in supplies. We can't rest here. I can rest here, I guess. It's not a really threatening force. But we do want to take it out. Alright, we're just going to try to build up supplies and we'll move out next turn. I do want to set him up for trebuchets down the line. I'll just drag him in, take the settlement. You get wiped. Dominion和许人也,无名鼠辈,插标卖手。they're... Are they showing up behind the mine? They have to march quite a distance to get to the mine. Okay, we can wait. See if they... March out? When that reinforcement army comes? They're defending. I want to know if they're coming from this side or that side, so I know... Okay, let's let's take a scouting party. 
take a look. So I know where to put my units. They are coming from this side. I see the generals. Fight me. Alright, units. Move. Move, move, move. Might be a hard fight because he does have high evasion. But we have a much better weapon. And we should have abilities to help. Kind of want to see all oh, the units are finally here. I was like, where are the units? We should get here in time. Oh, we can test this out. I want to be standing away from the trees and throwing it into the trees rather than throwing from the tree. We might like hit something. Let's see how this works. Uh, do we just create an oil puddle? What are we creating here? It didn't explode. Did it hit the trees and became a dud? I want to know what happened to it. Alright, we finally killed him. Alright, we'll have him heal. We'll see if we can throw another one. Feels like they should have some explosive damage. Oh, that is the damage. There's no big fire effect. It's only like three damage, but it's just mainly about debuff. Increase the fire damage they take. Okay, kind of pointless. Not that cool. Let's uh, show her how the real people do it. Oh, 
Guess they're just not helping. Now taking the settlement's still gonna be a pretty busy job. Alright, save some ammo. bounce back and if we need to fight them we'll fight them Alright, that caught on fire. We need to go get the aggro from all these. He should have another general who snuck through. Where did he end up? Over 50%. Okay, I can stop. We don't have any range inside, so we're okay. Slay 
Who has a bomb left? I know I have one more person. There we go. Move over here. General's down. Throw this here. Yeah, it's just a little debuff. It's not actual damage. Weakness to fire mainly. Probably better if I dismounted him for that. Drop. Suicidal charge? Alright, we got this. They gave us heroic. Wow. Were we that disadvantage here? Why actually take the replenishment for the army? Alright, he's down to one piece of land. We could wipe him. But I think he's going to be more useful. Well, he can't trade with us. But maybe we can... And we also can't vassalize him. Why is that? He does not seem to be part of any... big factions. Okay, if that's the case, I think we do wipe him. He has no value to us. I'm gonna go for the capture rate. And we'll turn on them, complete our... Can't trade with him, either. It feels like he doesn't have a lot of land. We might make a move against his capital before he gets stronger. 
All right, we're going to take a break over here. We're going to take care of that. Going to put a state workshop in. Definitely want this upgraded. We could get a replenishment boost. I don't think we need that, though. I think we're going to take this. She's getting some lack of purpose, so we're going to have her start working here. I do want population here. So we're going to shift that one away. All right, let's do something like that. Mm, plenty of more fighting left to do. Faction support mainly. I think it's time to drop the tax. We have more income now. Oh, our food is coming from the taxation. That is... Not great news, but what we can do is... We can actually fix that one. Once they come back, we'll still come here and actually help out with the farming. Oh, we didn't assign an administrator here. Right, we want Yuan Yang to be this administrator. Fourteen percent cost decrease. Gonna sign her, reset this for a cheaper one. And we'll just focus on income for now. Food is going to be okay. Satisfaction, uh, I mean, not satisfaction, but uh, public order can drop for a few turns. We'll still be okay. Let's see what we can give you. And the answer is not much. It's not going to be worth it. Our base commerce is only 200 right now, so 10%, you know, for 100 salary, we're going to gain 23 back for this. There's no point. Um, that's fine. Although, Guangling might get built up to be sort of a commerce place. Not something I'd worry about right now. All right, we're good. We're still not at war with them, but should we go to war with them? Maybe we should take the peace with Liu Yao. Take him down. Oh, Liu Bei is speaking in favor of us to the Emperor. Confederated. Lady's Hide comes back. This makes sense. These two working together against the Han. Huh. <laughs> this is a Danyang event. So, Danyang's called Shitocheng, or the Stone City. Uh, it's a small village before the name change uh, to Jianye, actually. Uh, Danyang's the commandery name. The city name is Jianye. And uh, this is Sun Quan's story. He splits a rock in two cleanly as a sign that this is a great place to build 
uh, for the future. And he names it Jian Ye, which is to build a great dynasty or a great fortune. Oh, Guo Jia, Ji Ling. Perfect. Guo Jia is coming with us. He gets juggernauts and tribuchets ahead of time. Perfect. Ji Ling, why did. No, he didn't go to Yuan Shu. Decided to come to us. Gets a bonus in duels. Like he was ever a great duelist historically, but uh, we'll take him. Uh, both of them are also willing to spy, so we don't have to worry about anything at all. Uh, we do have to kind of worry about diplomacy for a bit. Like, clearly, we need to wipe this out. It's going to take us a few turns. I don't need to heal. It's fine. Tauren's working for him. It's a good chance to capture him. Liu Yao is going to be a little pest. And perhaps we don't have to... Lady Tai came back to us as a family member. Perhaps we don't have to deal with him. We can ask him for cash. We'll deal with him when we turn south against Yan Bai Hu and the likes. And in the meantime, he can pay us. And we can focus on that. Alrighty. What do we do here? They're stranded. We don't have to do anything there. Our spy against Liu Bao is just done because Liu Bei took over. We really did help him, but he's a friend, so having him around, it's not bad. We picked up Lady Tai, who didn't get any of the faction items. Lady of Jingzhou. Wow. Replenishment bonus for com uh, Commandery, if she's the Administrator, but increased 50% corruption at the same time, which cancels out the standard Administrator bonus. So that doesn't actually hurt us. Automatic plus 10 diplomatic relations with vassals and tributes just by being in our court. Another commandery boost for administrators. Another commandery boost for administrators. So it seems like she's going to end up being administrator. But the bonus here is more military focus. So sort of a frontiers type of character for now. Not sure how we're going to use her. All right. I would like to reunite Cao Cao with Guo Jia, but it might be overkill because both of them will have access to tribuches since Cao Cao has access to all units. Uh, not that I'm going to put it on him. I guess we could still slap Guo Jia in there and call it a day. Chen Deng can be moved. He's administrator in Guangling. I can recall him later, I guess. We can't reach him. It's rather annoying. Alright, Liu Dai is starting to make a move on us. We can't have that. He can get the farmland, but... We could march, actually. I think that little bit of fatigue... ...being our own territory ends up giving us more supplies. We should be okay. This could get attacked. He could turn around and just attack it, or here. I think it's time to raise another army with some of the new characters we got. So Guo Jia should come out. Oh, Lady Tai brought in some Jingzhou units, which I think we can just put her in a administrator somewhere for that. We can do a couple flips. It's fine if they don't get along right now. And Guo's unit comes out. Guess so. No one has a good 
reason to lead this army. I right, don't want any of these units. Uh, I mean, it's fancy, but we don't need it. I just want this group of generals here with the retinue, and it should be enough to fight them off if they do come. Yeah, that's kind of the idea here. We still need to unlock tribuches and juggernauts before we can recruit them, even though he has access to them. Oh, he's interesting. He has access to earth units, which are siege weapons in the mod. They're half earth, half water. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I have a supply issue here. Peace out with them. We'll grab maybe Tarin joining us as well, reuniting the family. It's cheap. We're never going to have the whole piece. So I'm not sure if we want to do any building here. Okay, I think we're fine. We're still planning to kill him. Him not being on the field might make that plan on impossible, but we'll see how that goes. No, he's going to give us his land back, for sure. Unless you're willing to give me the temple back right now for free. Yeah, that's not happening. Alright, we can continue. We can keep trying to obey, but guy doesn't like us. Oh, they want this one. Okay, take it. Yo, that could also end up taking a... Oh, he's going farther down. Okay. Not a big deal. Oh, we have died so soon. <laughs> it's, uh... It's what? Winter of 195. And Tal Tal takes control. Uh, yeah, Chen Gong can inherit our units, I guess. Lady Tai has better retinues that we want to keep. We made it to how old? We can flash... Hold on. Sort of flash it onto him. Can't see? 63. Oh, so young. Oh, we can buy elephants next turn. Oh, so good. Maybe not. Maybe it's horses. Do we need an heir? Talon grew up in the High Empire. Talpi's still in Liu Bei's territory. Lady Wu would make a decent heir. Right, our administrator is overflowing, but at least it's filled before we got to it. We have a small food crisis. Okay, at least we can chase them down. That's good. 
Let's take care of this first. 19% close victory. We could try to fight it more cleanly, I guess. Hold on. There's a couple of things we need to change before we do that. He has the seal. Don't have an heir right now. Yeah, faction leader's death is crushing, especially for the for the wife. Um, speaking of the wife, maybe we can marry her away because she would be she would be single right now, or we can use her for a marriage either way. Lieba, Maybe not. Maybe there's just not any good targets here. I mean, we can just marry her far, far away. Give her a piece of land, make her a vassal. That would also work. Let's pick up Tarden. I'm going to fight this just to see if I can get a better victory than close. 19% is a little low. Now, it's not going to go much higher, though, so it's fine. Maybe go to 26%. But I don't think it's worth the effort. This is when we peace out with them. And let someone else wipe them out, basically. Maybe I don't care about the non aggression pack. One six, one seventy nine, one seventy. Oh, he does have some cash. Maybe this is a better deal. No, this is better. Okay, we have cash now. We don't have food, which is a problem. While wow, they built the wrong thing, let's convert it. Oh, that's a decent boost. Uh, who's going to become our heir? I mean, as much as we love Lady Bian, Lady Wu would make a good heir. We get two points of corruption right there. They're still young enough to have kids. Another 5% corruption right here. Then the standard bonuses for commanders. So it's not that great. Take it back. And Guo would be a good court character. Alright, this is just explosive shots, not unlocking tribuches, but this one unlocks juggernauts. Oh, he needs to be ranked 7. That is a requirement. That's not a bad bonus, but he also has good administrator traits. Where is Yuan Yang? Also, better administrator traits. Doesn't have anything special there. I mean, we need an heir. It just... We could even put Lady Gun for now to make her happy. And then she's gonna die eventually of old age as well.
even though there's really nothing going on for her. Wow, we have bad choices. Um, Any character we can just recruit? Clerk has good building bonuses. Minus two turn. Just randomly grab a guy off the street. Be like, how you like to be my son? I know you're a bit old, but... Uh... Ah, Guo's bonus might be something we actually do want. And there is the... Spy defense on top of that. Not really much to speak for in terms of faction-wide bonuses. We still haven't figured out how we're going to get our food. Probably through diplomacy. I mean, part of this is just because we kind of traded away too much. We could also tank it for a turn. Not not the best. We lost this basically, that's the reason. Yeah, let me let me fight them first. We'll worry about food later. Still need an air, still need some food. Maybe we capture Dodai's daughter. They have a lot of archers. So we're going to give them something to shoot at. Why are they... Oh, they're camping on the hill. Not a terrible idea, I guess. Ah, they have a tower. Okay. We'll go capture it. We should win handily. Well, that is not his daughter. Maybe his wife? They got some rivalry going on though. Can we get back on our horse and lead them through this? Go, 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 go. I like this. Ah, oh, they didn't follow. Mock him? 
Guess it's just charge. Alright, chase them into a lake, crowd that, shoot these, each of them pick up one. I mean, one grenade play take care of this. Hold real quick, don't move forward. They'll break soon. Alright, we got it. Alright, so the fighting part's good. Taotian dying this early... We don't really have a good air now, so we gotta look for one of those, or figure out who we want to become our heir. Maybe a temporary one with the wife is okay? We'll see if we capture anyone here. Not that I think that character is going to be great for it, but we'll see. Alright, so we don't really have a great choice. Um, Lady Wu might be the best one. Well, this is also possible, but... Making Cao Cao adopt him feels a little weird. We'll see what we can do. Maybe have him marry Lady Tai, then he'll be part of the family as well. We can extend the tree. We're gonna retake this. Then probably peace out with Liu Dai. I don't think we need to go take that farmland, extend ourselves next to Yuan Shao. That's not what we want. After Cao Cao take care of the wars on this side, we gotta retake the land here. 
with Yuan Shu, and then it's time to turn on the High Empire and take the land nearby that's kind of free. They will play Rest Up, and actually, we can play Declare War against the High Empire now and have them take Guaning's port and then reset around Donghai and Huainan, and then they can come back down and we'll wipe out Liu Yao by about 10 turns. Take down Yan Bai Hu and then go from there. Yeah, overall, I think it's fine. Uh, Tao Tian's death, obviously, not great. We don't get two extra assignments. We don't get two extra. I see we're, we're one over. We didn't take the max, but it's going to time out. going to go down to three. We don't have the extra administrators. But hopefully, we'll hit Marquis soon if we keep some of the land we are taking and then build it up. That way, we have access to um, the rank up system, pick up a few administrators, and we'll go from there. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. See you all next time. Bye!